A few hundred years ago, giving birth was very risky. Women faced a high risk of death, injury, and disease from giving birth. The leading cause of death was puerperal fever, also known as childbed fever. Although we now know that this was caused by a bacterial infection, back then, nobody knew what caused it or how to prevent it. It was a complete mystery. Things started to change when a Hungarian doctor called Ignis Semmelweis began working as an obstetrician at the Vienna General Hospital in 1846. He observed that mothers who gave birth in a ward staffed by midwives had a much lower death rate from childbed fever compared to those in a ward staffed by doctors and medical students. He investigated further and found that they often came to the maternity ward and examined mothers directly after performing autopsies. Around the same time, a colleague of Semmelweis got injured by a scalpel during an autopsy and ended up dying from symptoms similar to childbed fever. From these observations, Semmelweis deduced that doctors and medical students were carrying something on their hands from the autopsy room to the maternity ward that was making the women sick. To tackle this issue, he introduced a hand-washing program, requiring everyone to wash their hands before entering the ward. Soon after, mortality dropped dramatically. His actions saved the lives of many mothers. Now, you'd think that these results would be enough to continue this life-saving practice, right? Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Semmelweis's attempts to make hand-washing a requirement were met with resistance because they did not believe in his rationale. Semmelweis was shunned by his peers and had to leave the hospital. He joined another hospital in Hungary where he managed to keep the death rates for mothers very low. However, he continued to encounter ongoing resistance to his ideas and his health started to deteriorate. Sadly, he spent his last days in a mental asylum dying at the age of 47 years. Semmelweis was a public health pioneer who took life-saving action based on astute observations, although his attempts to change existing ideas and processes were unsuccessful. Today, Handwashing is recognized as one of the most effective ways to prevent the spread of infections and a cornerstone of infection control. And that's the story of Ignis Semmelweis and his struggle to prevent the deaths of mothers.